Yo, listen up. Denver Broncos been making moves, you heard? Snagged Zach Wilson. Now they scooped up Bo Nix in the NFL draft. Wilson ain't cashing in on that fifth-year option, playing hardball before free agency hits. Pat Certain 2's locked in, too. Broncos playing chess, not checkers, man. Wilson, Nix, and Stidham gunning for that starting spot. Gonna be a showdown. Coach Payton dropping wisdom, talking about a new era, Denver style. Broncos about to be lit with Wilson on deck, grinding hard to bounce back from them Jets days. Payton stoked, saying Wilson's game straight fire. Watch to the end and don't miss a thing. Yo, check it out, Denver Broncos been straight hustling since they snagged Zach Wilson in that trade last week, beefing up their QB game for the upcoming competition, you know? So, Thursday rolls around, they scoop up Bo Nix out of Oregon, first round, 12th pick overall, in the NFL draft. And word on the street is, Broncos done told Wilson and his crew they ain't cashing in on that fifth-year option in his contract. Yeah, man, Wilson was second pick in the 2021 draft by them Jets, and that rookie deal of his had this fifth-year option for 2025, worth a cool $22.408 million. But hey, league rules say they gotta decide on them fifth-year options for first-round picks from 2021 by Thursday, so Wilson's sitting tight, trying to ball out with the Broncos in 2024 before he hits free agency in March. Oh, and peep this, Broncos already locked in Pat Certain 2's fifth-year option for $19.80 mil. These moves, man, they're playing chess, not checkers. Last week, Broncos flipped a sixth-round pick in the weekend's draft to snag Wilson, plus they got a seventh-rounder, and them Jets gotta cough up a good chunk of Wilson's $1.055 million base salary. It's gonna be a showdown for that starting spot in Denver with Wilson, Nix, and Jarrett Stidham, who stepped up for the last two games in 2023 after Russell Wilson got benched. Coach Sean Payton from the Broncos just dropped some knowledge bombs. We talking about a whole new era, Denver style. So, peep this, Broncos are about to be lit with my man Wilson stepping up. Dude's been grinding, sure, maybe had a rough patch with them Jets, but hey, that's in the rearview mirror now. Peyton was straight up pumped about snagging Zach. Like, he couldn't stop Chisin about it last weekend. He's like, yo, we needed to beef up our QB squad, no doubt. And we saw this opportunity, man. A bunch of other vets were scooped up, but we still saw that spark in a dude who was a second draft pick just three years ago. His game? Straight fire, fam. Yo, check this out. Four-time Pro Bowl cornerback Chris Harris Jr. is hanging up his cleats, man. Yeah, after repping the NFL for 12 seasons, this baller announced his retirement on Tuesday. So, get this, Harris, who's 34 now, last hit the gridiron back in 2022 rocking the New Orleans Saints jersey. But, yo, he told the Denver Gazette that after no teams came knocking this offseason, he decided to call it quits. EI waited a year stayed in shape, but I realized everyone's moving on with the younger players, the younger wave, a Harris told the Gazette. A so, I'm calling it quits, man. Harris signed with the Broncos as an undrafted free agent back in 2011 and rocked mile high for his first nine seasons. Dude made it rain with four Pro Bowl selections and even snagged a Super Bowl ring after the 2015 season. Plus, he got that first-team All-Pro nod in 2016 and got named to the 2010 All-Decade team in 2020. EI pretty much checked off everything, a he told the Gazette. A getting on that All-Decade squad was the highlight. I feel blessed, especially coming in undrafted. I had to grind my whole career, so being able to overcome that is something I'm definitely happy about. Only thing he wished? he could have rocked the safety spot later in his career. So, that's a wrap on his career, y'all. And get this, he's leaving behind a legacy that includes 22 picks, 97 passes defensed, 621 tackles, 7 forced fumbles, and 6 sacks. Denver Broncos fans gonna miss this dude for sure. Yo, check it out, Broncos Nation. We're diving deep into the Denver Broncos NFL draft grade for 2024, and let me tell ya, it's been one heck of a ride. So, the Broncos hit the draft scene with a glaring need at quarterback, right? And man, 
did they stir up some buzz with their first round pick at number 12. Now, let's talk about that bold move, fam coach Sean Payton, in just his second year at the helm, went all in on Bo Nix out of Oregon. Yeah, you heard me right, Bo Nix, making waves in the Mile High City. Some folks might call it a reach, but let me tell ya, the rest of Denver's picks paint a whole picture of strategy, all about crafting a squad that's ready to compete. So, we're gonna break it down, pick by pick, Broncos fam. From the shocker with Bo Nix to the sneaky gems they snagged later on, it's all about building a team that's gonna shake up the league. And hey, that's why we're giving their draft a solid B plus grade. We got our eyes on 25 rookies snagged in rounds 1 through 3, who could shake things up in fantasy football land. Peep this for free. First up, Bo Nix, round 1, pick 12. Can't front on Nix's skills, man. Cat out of Oregon got a cannon arm, slick moves, and a knack for keeping plays alive. But, yo, questions been swirling about his decision-making and accuracy since way back in the pre-draft grind. So, was he worth that 12th pick? Let's peep the Denver bet. Nick's got that franchise QB potential, no doubt. If Peyton can dial in his accuracy and decision-making, Denver might just found their long-term answer under center. Cat balled out heavy in Oregon, working that specific system. Sean Payton's clearly feeling good about how Nix fits his vibe. Immediate impact? Maybe not starting day one, but Nix's skill set vibes well with Payton's offensive philosophy. Dude's shown he can make quick calls, place the ball right where it needs to be, all within a solid system. But yo, this bet ain't free. Denver passed on potential defensive studs or playmakers that could have tightened up other areas of the squad. But with the right coaching and development, Knicks could be that missing piece for a playoff run. If Knicks pans out, that Abby Plusy grade for the Denver Broncos NFL draft gonna end up looking way too low, man. Round 3, Pick 76, Jonah Ellis, Edge, Utah. After snagging Knicks, the Broncos doubled down on defense with a solid pick in Jonah Ellis. Here's why Ellis is a top choice. Relentless pressure, Ellis brings that high-octane pass-rushing vibe, man. He's got this special knack for getting to the QB, messing up plays left and right. With him on board, Bradley Chubb's gonna have some serious backup. Scheme fit, dude's got the knack for setting the edge in the run game and collapsing the pocket as a pass-rusher making him a key piece for Denver's defensive front. Ellis might be flying under the radar at 76, but mark my words, his potential to wreak havoc consistently is exactly what the Broncos need. Round 4, pick 102, from SEA to was Troy Franklin, WR, Oregon. This pick reunites Bo Nix with his Oregon main man, Troy Franklin. Let's break down how this move benefits the Broncos. Instant chemistry. Nix and Franklin? They're like peas in a pod, man. They've already got this solid connection that's gonna translate to on-field production right out the gate. That's a QB's dream right there. Deep threat. Franklin's a burner, plain and simple. Dude's got wheels for days. He's gonna stretch that field vertically and give defenses nightmares. And that's just gonna open up more space for the possession guys already on the roster. Trading up for Franklin might raise some eyebrows, but with his speed and chemistry with Knicks, this move could pay off big time for the Broncos' passing game. That Knicks-Franklin connection? That's gonna bump up the Denver Broncos' NFL draft grade for sure, cause they could be lighting it up for years to come. Round 5, pick 145, from NYJ Chris Abrams Drain, CB, Missouri. Broncos ain't done fortifying that secondary yet, folks. Chris Abrams drains the latest addition. Here's why he's fitting right in. Versatility. This dude can play nickel corner or line up on the outside, giving us the depth and flexibility we need in the secondary. It's gonna let the coaching staff mix things up depending on who we're up against. Ballhawk potential. Abrams drains got some serious instincts man. He's always sniffing out that ball in coverage. 
could be a real playmaker in Denver's backfield. Sure, he might not be the top-rated corner out there, but Abrams' drain brings some valuable depth and competition to the secondary, and that's key in the tough AFC West division. Round 5, pick 147, Audric Estime, RB, Notre Dame. All right, Broncos fans, let's talk about this pick, man. Audric Estime coming in to beef up that backfield. And let me tell you, it's a solid move, bro. Physical presence, Estime ain't playing around, folks. Dude's got size and strength, a real punisher on the field.